Harry, Jason has to change. We're leaving. Just five more minutes and bring down a cold beer, will you? Harry, you've had two already. I can count, Sally. Just bring down the beer. <sighs> Mommy, why does Daddy spend so much time down there? I don't want you to worry about it, okay? Still too high, relax. Jason has to leave. Better, much better. My sister's expecting us before dinner and it's a two hour drive. Better hurry, kiddo. He's a little young, Harry. The earlier they start, the better. I want everybody in his family to learn how to protect himself. He's only seven years old. All right, all right, lay off, will you? I don't see why you have to drag him all the way to Kansas City every time your sister gets lonely. Jason loves to go. And what do you care? The way you hole up down there every weekend, you wouldn't know if we were upstairs or in room. I miss her, Harry. She's about the only person I can talk to anymore. Sal, you haven't told your sister about the shelter, have you? No, of course not. I know how you feel about that. You are never to tell anyone about the shelter. It's our family secret, just the four of us. Don't you ever forget that, Sal, not for a moment. Mom? Yes, Harry, I said I understood. Come on, kids, let's go. And then coming by with the receipts liner? He said around 6.30. Why don't you take him hunting this weekend like you used to? Yeah, I just might at that. Bye, Daddy. Yeah. Jason, don't let your cousin push you around. Last-minute rush. Old man Richter came in, wanted to buy a new clip for his automatic, and then a couple of hunters from Wheelerville needed ammo. Well, that's a good week, all told. Mm. Hey, have you heard the news about this Middle Eastern thing? Oh, it's getting scary. This evening, the fighting seems to be spreading. Where's Sally and the kids? Yeah, I went to Kansas City again to visit with her sister. I was just putting them in the microwave. Stick around, I'll pop in another one. Great, ago, sure, thanks, Harry. That the president and first lady did indeed leave the White House by military helicopter half an hour ago. Toman refused to disclose their destination, nor would he confirm that their departure has anything to do with the escalating crisis in the Middle East. Well, I guess it's just like you predicted, Harry. The whole world's going straight down the old toilet. Going? Ha! Huh. We're already in the toilet. <laughs> Drugs, terrorism, pornography. It's worse than any war. Sally used to understand all that, but now... Now she lives in a dream world. All she wants to do is turn my son into a mama's boy. Or worse. I tell you, Nick. I almost long for it. What? The bomb. Could put a lot of things right again. You and I, we don't belong in a world full of degenerate rock stars, hairdressers, bureaucrats. Sometimes I dream about it afterwards. 
starting over with my son in a purified world in a world with all the scum burned off of it with everything basic and simple i don't know harry i can't imagine anyone wanting to live in a world with so much gone what would be gone just an ugly screwed up world slowly being eaten up by pimps and cowards yeah <laughs> But you'd have to survive a nuclear war now. There's not much chance of that now, is there? Oh, it can be done if you plan on it. You mean build a fallout shelter or something like that? Fallout shelter wouldn't be enough. Not here. Dunstan's only four and a half miles from Wakefield Air Base. A prime target. Any shelter would have to be deep and blast-proof. Sure. Nick, we've known each other since high school. You've been working in my gun store for 10 years. Hell, you're practically a part of the family. I think you deserve to be let in on a little family secret. The door is lined with lead. The wall solid concrete, four feet thick, completely radiation proof. These gauges give me outside temperature and humidity. That one monitors surface radiation. The shelter has sleeping, shower, and bathroom facilities for five. Over here is the medical supply cabinet. All the water is pumped in by an indoor well. Power generators with a 300-gallon fuel tank. Air filtration system. Draws air from the outside, but through 30 feet of gravel and charcoal. Harry, this is amazing. <laughs> How did you do this and still keep it a secret? Remember when I had the pool put in? Oh, no. That was my cover! I hired people from out of state. While half of them tore up the backyard, I had the rest of them dig this out. I told them it was for a wine cellar. A wine cellar? You? What did I know? I built everything else myself. No one knows it's here, not even my neighbors. Especially not my neighbors. My family. And now you. Are the only ones that know about this. And we're sworn to secrecy. Do you understand, Nick? Yeah, Harry. I'm just flattered you'd let me in on it. <laughs> There's food and water here for five months, and... Well, if something happens and there's time, you're welcome to join us here in the shelter. Thanks, Harry. I don't know what to say. Look, I saved this for last. A multi-band communication system. Oh. I'll raise the antennas. They're located under a concrete slab in the backyard that could push up through a ton of debris. It's to link me with other survivors afterwards. The neighbors think it's part of some elaborate satellite TV. <laughs> <laughs> that was a live report aboard the aircraft carrier Nimitz, now in position in the Gulf of Sidra. Defense Department sources confirm that the armed forces have been placed on red alert and an emergency cabinet meeting is being held at an undisclosed location. The president has issued a statement equivocally that... Stay United here. States Don't move. I have to make a phone call. Necessary. I'll be right back. ...any escalation in the fighting. We go live now to John Shepard in our Moscow bureau with more on those alarming reports that many Russian cities are being evacuated. Hello? Sure. It's Godzilla, king of the monsters. Hello? Have you been watching the news? I want you to pack up the car and come home. Are you crazy? We'd be driving half the night. The whole country's about to blow up. I want you here. Harry, every time there's a minor international crisis, you think we should barricade ourselves in the family tomb. A little louder. I don't think they heard you in Iowa. Staying here.
happened. This is it. This is it. The antennas, did you lower them? No, Harry, I don't know how. That was our only connection with the outside. The shelter's completely radiation proof. Even the radio waves. I gotta get home. My parents. Nick, you're gonna need me. Nick! I get home. Nick! And you're not going anywhere! It was a direct hit on the air base! Listen to me! We're gonna have to stay down here until the radiation levels drop at least a month! Look! No! Look, Nick! Hey, Harry, there's someone up there. Someone's coming to rescue us. Don't be ridiculous. Look at the radiation level outside. It's the walking dead up there. Survivors looking for food and water. You better pray that they don't find us. And I'm ready for them if they do. For Harry, they could have saved us. They could have been anybody. They were scavengers, not rescuers. If you'd have let them know we were here, they would have busted that door down and taken our food and killed us. Or we would have had to kill them. <laughs> Don't you understand anything, damn it? Don't you understand anything? You said the radiation would go down after a month or so, Harry. It's been three months and it still looks the same. You're not very good in tight spots, are you, Gatlin? It's cold. Why is it so cold, Harry? If you'd spend more time shaping up instead of pacing and moaning, you'd be a lot warmer. We've got to be ready for whatever it is we find out there. Ten months and the radiation is just as high. Man, they must have really cut loose up there. Kansas City, Topeka, L.A., Paris, Moscow, all gone. No wonder we don't hear any more noises. Must be like trying to live in a microwave oven. Your parents, my son, all dead. In a war like this, they didn't have a chance. You know, Harry, deep down inside, I don't even think you give a damn. You love all this. Gatlin, you haven't got the guts or will to survive. I'm sorry I didn't realize that before I asked you in. What the hell is the point of surviving in a dead world? A better world, you'll see. I doubt it. You come to hate everything eventually, Harry. I don't even know why I'm trying to stay alive. That's simple. You're afraid to die. You've always been afraid of everything. I should have known better. For years, I gave you work. I took you on hunting trips. I tried to make a man out of you. It's not possible. <laughs> You're right. You're right. And now all I have to do is to find the guts to choose how I want to die and who I want to die with. <laughs> You're not doing anything. 
You're hysterical, Gatland. I've had as much of your whining as I can take. Anything moving? God, Harry, it's horrible. There's no daylight anymore. It's freezing. There's nothing but mountains of garbage. The whole town is gone. I've been crawling around for hours waiting for the sunlight, and then it never comes. <laughs> the air smells like burnt plastic. I feel sick, Harry. Let me in. I can't. <coughs> You're contaminated. If I let you in, you'd only kill us both. <coughs> I'm sorry, Nick. It was your decision. No! I didn't mean it, Harry! Please! If you let me in, I'll be fine! Please, Harry! Please let me in! Harry, let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Harry! since the tragic accident at Wakefield Air Base, that horrifying day when one of our own nuclear cruise missiles detonated without warning in the bomb bay of a B-1 bomber as it was preparing to take off, instantly leveling the small town of Dunstan, Kansas. The world will never forget the shock, 
destruction, the appalling loss of life, a shock that many now feel pulled the world back from the brink of war. When the decision was made to bulldoze the highly radioactive ruins into as compact an area as possible and seal them under this vast radiation-proof dome, no one could have foreseen how sacred a shrine it would become. For the Peace Dome, as many call it today, has become the world's most powerful and enduring monument to the utter folly of war. Each month, Hundreds of thousands of visitors come from all across the country and from around the world to get a first-hand glimpse. Mommy, is that where... Yes, dear, that's where...